Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. What went wrong between Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone? After four years together, Garfield and Stone broke up in 2015. Andrew and Emma's romance ended a few years ago, giving fans plenty of time to speculate on what could have gone wrong. Let's look at why did Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield really break up? Number 6. Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone started dating in 2011 while filming. The pair's onset chemistry was so great that it resulted in a real-life romance. Garfield remembered his instant bond with Stone while filming the movie in an interview with MTV News in 2012. In between takes, we got along pretty well as humans, he remarked. That was the enjoyable part. In between, we'd just play around, and I'd think to myself, ah, this is different. I had no idea what was going on throughout the screening exam. She keeps you alert by keeping you on your toes. That was the start, Garfield told Teen Vogue that he recognized there was something unique about Stone when he auditioned for the role. It was as though she jolted me awake when she walked in. It was like jumping into a raging river with no desire to cling to the side. It was frantic and amazing the entire time we were shooting, he remarked. The pair, however, separated in 2015, a year after the release of their final Spider-Man film together. Number 5. Why did Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone break up? Garfield and Stone dated for four years before ending their relationship in 2015. Emma attended the 2015 Oscars alone when she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress, sparking rumors they had split up. In April 2015, Us Weekly stated that Andrew was in a terrible place while filming his film Silence and that the pair had split up a few months ago, but that they had remained friends. They still have a lot of affection for each other and they are on excellent terms and stay close, the source stated. It was just not working. While reflecting on the Amazing Spider-Man trilogy, Garfield told Variety in 2021 that he and Stone are still friends. It was really lovely, he added. I had the opportunity to work with Emma Stone and Sally Field. When Stone won a Golden Globe for La La Land in 2017, the Oscar-nominated actor was observed giving her standing ovation. As an artist, I'm her biggest supporter. Her work never ceases to inspire me, Garfield told Vanity Fair. I'm continuously inspired by how she manages and holds herself. It's been a dream come true for me to witness her rise to fame and blossom into the performer she is. Number 4. Where are Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone now? Emma Stone began dating Saturday Night Live director Dave McCary in 2017, two years after her separation from Andrew Garfield. They married in 2020 after becoming engaged in December 2019. In March 2021, the couple welcomed their first child together, a girl named Louise Jean McCary. Garfield has been dating Christine Gable, a well-known model, surfer, and medical student for the past two years, but that didn't last long. Since November 2021, he's been linked to Alyssa Miller, a model and an artist. They were originally seen spending time together in New York City, and their relationship is now regarded as couple goals. Number 3. Did the ex-couple have any children? Garfield and Stone, who had been together for nearly four years, had no children and were not married. However, a source close to the ex-couple acknowledged that they had considered getting married. According to the insider, the couple was privately considering marriage, before taking a hiatus owing to their hectic work schedules. Number 2. Garfield didn't tell Stone about Spider-Man No Way Home Although they had moved on, Stone and Garfield maintained a close relationship. They even have each other's phone numbers. When Stone questioned Garfield about his comeback to the character after filming Spider-Man No Way Home, Garfield lied. Emma started emailing me, are you in this new Spider-Man film? And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. He revealed on the Happy Sad Confused podcast. Stone had some strong words for her ex after seeing the film. You jerk, she said. Garfield burst out laughing. But it's all in good humor. The two have maintained a cordial connection in the years since they broke up. Number 1. Emma Stone's movie La La Land turned out to be her real life. La La Land, Emma Stone's Oscar-nominated film, turned out to be her own true story. She left the man she loved in the movie because she was offered a part in a film. As a result, she had to go to France, away from her lifelong love. And when she becomes a successful actress and has a nice married life with a child, the passion fades. At the end of the film, she runs across her ex-boyfriend, who is also doing well, and the two of them have gone on with their lives. In real life, she experienced the same event. Emma Stone walked down the aisle with her long-term lover, comedian Dave McCary, in the year 2020. Although the romance between Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone was adorable, no less than a fairy tale, since it didn't last long and left a lot of fans heartbroken, they're still good friends. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!